Regression analysis is a statistical method that allows us to uncover insights about our products or business by uncovering correlations between variables. There are two main use cases for this tool. The first is understanding if one variable is impacting another variable. For example, does the time it takes to respond to a customer support email impact the probability of a customer canceling their subscription? The second use case is predicting a future value for something. For example, let's say you want to predict sales for the next few months. There may be a relationship between sales and how much you spend on marketing each month. If you know your marketing budget, you might be able to forecast your sales more accurately. Let's take a look at the output of a regression analysis in Excel. The y-axis is called the dependent variable, and the x-axis is called the independent variable. This simply means that a y value is going to change depending on what the x value is. In our sales prediction example, the y-axis is the sales value because it is dependent on whatever the marketing spend is, which is the x value or the independent variable. So all you need to know is that in a regression chart, you're looking at what the y value will be when you have different values for x. Input x, see what y is. Each dot is a single data point with an x and y value. The line that goes right through the middle of the data points is called the regression line. It could slope up, it could slope down, or it could be flat. Every regression is defined by an equation. The equation is how you can input specific values of x to get y. This isn't a math class, so we aren't going to get into detail on how it all works. But know that with this equation, we could input a value for marketing spend, x, and get a predicted value for sales, y. Finally, there's something called r-squared. This is on a scale of 0 to 100%, and it tells you how well this regression line fits with the data points. A high r-squared value will mean that all the data points are close to the line, meaning that there is a very close correlation between the two variables. And this equation has a higher probability of predicting a more accurate value. A low r-squared value means that the data points are further away from the line, the correlation is weaker, and that you'll have a low confidence in the prediction of the output. As a rule of thumb, think of a value under 0.25 as weak, between 0.25 and 0.75 as moderate, and above 0.75 as strong. So to sum it all up, we take a bunch of data points, put them in a scatter plot, run a regression line through them, use the equation to predict a future value y based on an input x, and use the r squared number as a barometer for how closely correlated these variables are and how confident you can be in the accuracy of the predicted y value. Now that you know the basics of a regression analysis, let's fire up Excel and do a couple of business examples that product managers and finance analysts use all the time.